On Capitol Hill today, the House passing a bill that would make TikTok a U.S. entity hosted on American servers, but could also spell the end of the social media platform. New at 11, 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer shows us how a local influencer is reacting and what Congressman is saying on his own TikTok. I'm a Las Vegas-based television news reporter. Of course, I'm going to do a story about a federal TikTok ban and its impact on the Las Vegas community to an outdated trend and also ask why one Nevada congressman is voting to save TikTok. I just voted no on the bill that could potentially ban TikTok. On his TikTok account, Nevada Congressman Stephen Horsford saying if TikTok should be held accountable, all social platforms should be too. In opinion, coming after the 352 to 65 vote in Congress where the three other Nevada representatives voted yes. The bill pressuring TikTok to sell to a U.S.-based web host in the next six months. Otherwise, they say they will not be able to operate in the United States. It's created um, a life that I probably never even dreamed of. Greg Chin, a Las Vegas realtor, influencer, and content creator with more than 150,000 followers on TikTok, spoke with us about TikTok's impact on his business. By having a platform where your community can participate in their community, like TikTok, for myself, showing the positive side of Las Vegas, showing lifestyle, real estate, food, they're able to participate. But we asked Greg if a ban is warranted for an app that has overseas ties and alleged connections to another government. Access to the marketplace will require you to give up some level of security, whether it is your face ID to open your phone, whether it is your social security and other information to allow for tap pay with your credit card. I think a lot of people might not think about the small things that they're already giving up. Now, after passing in Congress, the bill now goes to the Senate and possibly to the White House, where President Biden says he would sign it, which means the clock is ticking for the TikTok community. Reporting, James Schaefer, 8 News Now.